Well, I said I was going to talk about Bruce Jenner's interview with Diane Sawyer last night. It's, it was very interesting, very, very interesting in the sense that a man can live in a 60-something year old body as a man, but then physically as a man, but then internally feels like a woman. It was very, very, you know, interesting to, to watch and listen. But one thing that I liked, uh, that I saw, was he seemed to be very happy, especially when he smiles. I mean, I, I, he, it, he melts my heart when I see him smile. And the reason why my heart melts is that I can see this man being happy because he's able to live the life that he's always wanted to live for all these years. I mean, 60 something years being trapped in, in a cage. That's how they describe it. I haven't lived that life, so I can only say what they say. But listen to him and I have a lot of questions and, you know, my friends have been asking me questions as well. And one of the questions is that, um, how would I feel if I was his wife? Well, I would be heartbroken because I, I, I would have gone in to marry him as a man and expected to spend the rest of my life with this man. And then for some reason, he comes out to tell me that now he wants to be a woman. Of course, I'll be heartbroken. Would I support him? Yes, I would. Because I want, I, for me, my thing is, Everybody should be able to be allowed to live the life that pleases them, the life that makes them happy. We as society, especially we Africans, Ghanaians to be specific, we are way too concerned about what other people think and what other people will say or people just want to criticize because we haven't gotten used to the, the new system, the new way of life, the modern family kind of life that we are living today. So for that reason, we can be happy. We can do the things. We can say the things that we, we would like to say because we are afraid that somebody is going to criticize us for something that, you know, we did or said or even just who we are. So I, I, I would support that man if I was his wife. Will I divorce him? Absolutely yes. Because I like to be married to a man. I like my natural banana. You know what I'm talking about. So I wouldn't want to be, you know, in a relationship or marriage with somebody who will be dressing as a woman, putting on makeup and all those things. I don't think it, it would be something that I would want to do. And some people have criticized his wife for leaving him. And I think it's plain wrong for anybody to criticize Chris Jenner for divorcing uh, this man. Because it, it is Chris's, I mean, it is Bruce's life. Bruce wants to be happy. He is allowed to go and be happy. It doesn't mean that Chris Jenner as his wife has to live with it. Chris also deserves to be happy. That is the word. Bruce deserves to be happy. And the say, at the same time, Chris also deserves to be happy. And she realized that being with somebody who went from a man to being a woman would not make her happy. So therefore, she's leaving to go find a man with, you know, natural bananas that she can enjoy. I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm not criticizing Bruce. Who am I to criticize? I haven't lived that life. But I believe that that man deserves some sort of happiness. And if that's what he has to do to be happy, I think society, I think we need to learn to accept it. That is his life. Gone are those days where people live life behind closed doors and can't be who they are, can't go to places that they would normally want to go because they are afraid that society will not accept them for who they are. So we need to learn as a society, as a world in the whole, in, in, in a whole to, to, to accept 
the new way of life. Nobody, well, I don't, I don't understand. I don't have an answer. I don't know the reason why a man would be trapped or feel like he is trapped in a woman's body. I don't know why a, a, a woman will also feel like he's trapped in a man's body. So therefore they need to go out and change genders and change, you know, physical appearance just so they can look like who they really feel from the inside. I don't have answers. Do I accept them? Of course I do. If, if, if anybody that I know comes to me and tells me, Hey, this is what I'm going through and this is what I'm going to do. Of course, I, I'm going to, you know, try to think twice about it. But if they insist or they persist for years that this is what who they think they really are, of course, I will support them and I will wish them all the best. And then the, the main point is for them to be happy. I, I, I like people being happy around me. I don't like moody people around me. It, it makes me depressed. So when I see people getting depressed and getting moody and getting sad, it, it has an impact on me. So anything that somebody can do that will not physically uh, affect somebody else from the outside, I think, hey, that man deserves some sort of happiness. And I, I think uh, he, he needs to be able to live that life that he's always wanted to live. And some people were saying that his wife knew, or he even mentioned that his wife knew from the beginning. And it's a question of, did she really know? Yes, I think she knew. That is my thought that... A man, the, the guy didn't just come up one day after 20 something years of marriage, you know, to, to this woman and said, hey, now I want to be a transgender or I want to change uh, sexes or a uh, gender. Of course, she she had she knew definitely. But um, one problem that most women have, most women have is we think that we can change a man. And most of the time, it doesn't happen. 99.9% .9 of the time, women go into a relationship thinking, they, thinking that they can change the man. And I haven't seen that many women that have been successful in that area. Of course, a man can change. I always say that you cannot change a man, but you can be a reason for the man himself to change. So the mentality that we women sometimes have thinking that, well, I'm going to marry him. And when I marry him, I'm going to turn in him into this and this and that. It is, it is almost impossible for a man to change because a woman wants him to change. A man will change because he wants to change. And another thing that I, I realize is that they said there's a hundred, sub seven hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand transgenders in America, living in America. That is, to me, those are the ones that have been reported. But I'm sure there are some that you know are in the closet, as they 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 call it. That hasn't that has not come out yet for us to know. But it's almost like a million people in just this little American country country that um that are transgender. And I can imagine how difficult it is to to live a life that you you have to hide people don't exactly know who you are because you are afraid to come up to to tell people because you, you think they will not accept you so it, it, it can be very difficult i can only imagine like i said i haven't been there so i really can say you know that it is true they feel that way or it is not true they feel that way i think i'm gonna leave that for god to make that decision but my thing is I am going to be, I mean, I'm mean, supportive of that man, whether he's, he's a man or a woman or whatever, whatever makes him happy. I think that um, we all need to support that man and, and wish him well. You know, who are we to judge? That's the question. Unless, of course, you've lived in, in that man's body, unless, of course, you've taken a mile down the road with this man, unless, of course, you have walked in his shoes. We, 
cannot tell that whether he feels the way he's describing or he doesn't. All we have to do is support him and make, I mean, allow him to live the life that he wants to live. After all, we are living our lives that we want to live. So why can we be acceptance of other people's life? So my thing is, we as Ghanaians especially, we need to stop. We need to stop criticizing people for who we are. I have heard that some people have criticized and killed and beaten some gay people in Ghana. I am not condoning. I am not criticizing. So do not take my words and twist it. I am not condoning gayism. I am not I mean, uh, uh, saying that it is a right thing or it is not the right thing. I am not judging. I'm not perfect sitting here myself. But what I'm saying is that we need to leave those people to live their lives alone. We need to focus on ourselves, our marriages, our children, our parents, our society, our little village. There is so much that we can use our energy for instead of going out there and changing chasing after gay people and killing them and beating them and setting them on fire, it doesn't contribute. It doesn't help anything, especially whereby we have not lived in their shoes. The judge, the ultimate judge is, a, is, is in heaven. He's above us. We should leave that for him to judge. And then we as the Ghanaian community, especially, we should learn to be more acceptance to the new way of living or the new lifestyle. So if somebody is gay, if a friend of mine is gay, what does it you know, uh, it, it doesn't hurt me. That's the point I'm trying to make. It doesn't change who I am. It doesn't make any difference in my life. So for me, instead of spending my time criticizing and beating and trying to cut them off and all, I will spend that energy that time trying to do a research, trying to do a soul search, trying to put up some business, go online, learn something, take a class so I can benefit from it. I can change. I can improve on my life. So so like I said, people, I'm pleading with you, let's be more acceptance to the new way of life. It is what it is. It's not going to go anywhere. So we may as well, you know, just adjust and, and live our lives and leave other people to live their lives the way that pleases them. As long as they are not murdering people, they are not killing people. What's the point? What's the point as, I mean, fighting and, 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 you know, worrying ourselves over other people's life because we don't like it. Even if we don't like it, we don't have to go out there and be killing and torturing these people because we can never understand them. I have not lived that life. I've said that before. So let's just leave people alone and uh, let them live their life the way that pleases them. And somebody asked me if I was his child also, what would I do? That's a tough one. That is a tough one because as a wife, I could get a divorce, move on, find another man, settle down and be happy. But as a, as a child, it does, there isn't much you can do because you are, you are, you only have one dad. You only, you know, you can't go and pick somebody from the street and say, Hey, you're my dad. You can do that, but it comes to blood and DNA and all that. You cannot alter DNA. So it will be very difficult, but I will want my dad to be happy regardless of him wearing a dress or changing gender. I will be very happy. I'll be very heartbroken at the same time, but it's not going to be about me and what I want in life. It's about also what he wants and what makes him happy. I wouldn't want my dad to be trapped in a body that he doesn't feel comfortable in and be miserable for the rest of his life because I would not be happy because if he changes gender. So if I were a child, yes, I'll be heartbroken, but eventually I will learn to accept it and let it go and then continue the father-child relationship. So this is my comment on this Bruce, uh, Bruce Jenner issue and uh, I wish him all the best. I pray, I hope and pray that his friends and family will be on, on board. According to the show yesterday, they said that two of his ex-wives, they are very supportive. I, I read it myself. They I mean, had a statement on the show and they are very, very supportive. Uh, uh, but they, his current ex-wife, 
they didn't say much whether he she's with it or she's not but that is not a i mean an issue for me as long as bruce is doing what he wants to do or he's always wanted to do i think we all should accept him bruce if you're gonna watch this i wish you all the best do what you gotta do and don't let anybody talk you down or do not let anybody break you down go on and live your life and be happy i'm sure somebody will come around you that will want to have a relationship with you and then you'll be happy for the rest of your life all right thank you all i hope my concern or my comment has been able to reach as many people as possible and uh hopefully i'll see you all in my next video bye this is gina mimi love